Yo, what's up guys? CJ Golden here and welcome to this new episode. In today's video, as you guys see, I'm 9-1 in this grand challenge right now. And as you guys saw in the title and in the thumbnail, in today's video, I will share the top 3 fisherman decks right now in the current meta. Of course, it's my own opinion, so you might uh, yeah, think that a different fisherman is better. But these decks are definitely really solid and definitely work uh, yeah, really well in the current meta so far. So I actually played with it um, with those 3 decks like while preparing for this grand challenge. So as you guys see... I have the, yeah, kind of like a fisherman graveyard, kind of like a splash yard. We do have the Dark Prince and the Baby Dragon, but we actually don't have a tornado in there, which, of course, like in the original splash yard, there's always a tornado. Um, then this Sparky, Electro Wizard, Lightning, Snowball deck. This deck is actually kind of, yeah, different, like in some decks. Like, for example, some people used it with Hunter. Some people used it with Zep instead of so uh, Snowball. Some people used it with Fireball. But personally, I actually prefer... Um, get yeah, the deck like this because snowballs of course super good lightning is actually really good in many matchups and then electro is actually super good because sparky is actually pretty popular right now like i saw quite a lot of sparky so electro is actually super good in the current meta and actually the third deck as you guys see this is um yeah basically like a classic deck but instead of the bandit like in this deck well i guess um two changes fisherman instead of the bandit and then ghost instead of the dark prince of course uh ghost got actually a pretty good buff and then right now dark prince or uh excuse me fisherman is actually super good and then, yeah, basically the same deck as the Graveyard deck again. So, what I'm going to do in today's video is first start off with this Graveyard deck. Um, and then afterwards, I will switch to the other deck. So, I would say let's jump into the first match, guys. Now, I win in a Grand Challenge. So, it would be awesome if we can just, uh, yeah, win with all the decks, like, back-to-back -back and end up the video 12-1. But anyway, it looks like third opponent takes well. So, I guess I will just edit out when I find our first opponent. Okay, guys, looks like we found the first match. So, let's give it a thumbs up and let's give it a good luck. So honestly, this deck doesn't cycle as quick as other decks. Looks like he actually starts off with his um, Goblin Barrel. Oof, Bad Dark Prince. I actually tried to put it off to the side so it wouldn't splash the tower. And unfortunately, we didn't have Log and Cycle. So let's actually go with the Ice Column and the Bridge. Uh, Ice Column will end up tanking for Dark Prince. Looks like he actually goes with his Goblin Gang. So honestly, I think he doesn't have any other card in cycle right now for um, the Graveyard. Looks like he does have Valkyrie. Oof, I wasn't sure if that would actually activate the King Tower, but that was actually a pretty good placement on his part uh, with the Princess. So let's see, guys. I'll actually... I guess I will Hunter the Valkyrie, and then I'll just pull the Princess, I think. Okay, let's first lock the Goblin Barrel, uh, and then I'll just pull the Princess. So Hunter will actually be uh, yeah, alive, and I think he still needs to respond with that with, for example, Goblin Gang. So it will definitely be good having him uh, yeah, spend his Goblin Gang. Looks like he actually goes with his lock. Uh, yeah, looks like he does also go with his Goblin Gang. So him using the lock and his Goblin Gang, right now his cycle is actually pretty awkward. I'll actually go with Graveyard like this. Normally I wouldn't, but knowing that he has a Valkyrie in cycle, um, yeah, as you can see, Valkyrie will be a little bit less effective against this placement. So we actually are able to get quite a lot of uh, yeah, chip damage, not bad at all. But he's now tower to 17, uh, yeah, 27. So let's see, guys. Uh, let's actually go with the Dark Prince over here. Probably should have dropped the Dark Prince a little bit uh, yeah, faster so it would actually end up charging. But anyways, that's fine. Should be able to kill the Valkyrie. Not sure if it will... Okay, let's actually go with a Poison over here. Uh, looks like he goes with, I think, a Tricky Barrel. No, looks like it's normal. But anyways, the timing was still... Um, yeah, good as you see. Didn't end up taking any hits. So the only thing we need to watch out with is his rockets. Like, I feel like he might actually end up trying to rocket cycle us. Or just in general, like, um, like not, for example, like place the hunter in the back. Because, of course, like 6 for 4 is definitely really good for him. So let's actually go with the ice column over here. Um, I think I will cycle my fisherman. Looks like he actually goes with his uh, Valkyrie. Looks like he actually goes with his Dark Prince. Let's go with a baby dragon over here. So fisherman was able to pull... Oh, we do need to watch out. Looks like it actually died. So, looks like the hunter is able to deal um, yeah, with it quite well. But we still ended up taking a lot of damage. Let's actually go with a look over here, guys. Looks like he was able to trick me one with the, um, with the goblin. And we definitely need to focus right now. Let's actually go with the ice column. Let's actually go with the dark prince. Let's actually go with the grave right now. Um, and let's see, guys. Poison for the princess. So, looks like the graveyard, unfortunately, isn't able to deal that much damage. Uh, princess does, of course, go down to the poison. And I think right now... If he rocket cycles, he wins. If he doesn't, I think we still have a chance. So looks like he actually decides to go for another barrel. So I think this might actually open up um, yeah, another chance for us. Let's actually go with Ice Golem. Let's actually go with Dark Prince. Uh, he will definitely try to out cycle us. So let's have the Hunter ready. Yeah, he will definitely throw his Goblin Barrel right now. So let's actually go with the Hunter. Hopefully this is good timing so it doesn't get any hits. Looks like one of the Goblins is able to get hits onto the tower. And I think this might be a good game for him. Uh, let's go with a poison knowing that he will probably go okay looks like he didn't go with his goblin gang 
And let's see, guys. I think I might try to go for a prediction Goblin Gang over here. Okay, looks like the lock was able to hit the Goblin Gang. Hunter might be able to lock onto tower. Looks like it is able to splash once. Unfortunately, will not splash twice. Uh, looks like he goes with his rock. I don't, th I don't think this is enough, to be honest. No, looks like it's not enough. Let's actually go with a Hunter. Oh my god, guys. One of the Goblins was able to lock onto the tower. So, unfortunately, we did end up losing that match. That was actually a really close match. He definitely played this really well. So, let's give him a good game. Let's give him a well played. And let's give him a thumbs up. So, unfortunately, we do start off the episode with a loss. But, um... Yeah, anyways, I'll still do the same thing, so I'll still actually move on to the next deck. So, in the yeah, next match, I'll play with this Pekka Bridge Pam deck. And then afterwards, let's say we win, like, I will, uh, yeah, go with this Sparky deck. And let's say then uh, we're 11-2, I'll actually go back to the Graveyard deck. Definitely unfortunate that we start off the episode with a loss, but anyways, we'll definitely try to, uh, yeah, still complete the challenge with these three decks, of course. So, as I said, in today's, uh, or not in today's, in the next match, I'll actually end up playing with the Pekka Magic Archer deck, um... And then Fisherman, as I said, instead of the Bandit. And then Ghost instead of the Dark Prince. So again, looks like your opponent takes all. So I guess I'll just add out when we find our second match. Let's go, guys. Looks like we found the second match. So looks like we're up against Phil V. Let's give it a thumbs up. And let's give it a good luck. So we start off with Ghost. We have Pekka. Uh, Poison, Better Ram. Next card is the Electro Wizard. So with this deck, usually I just... Okay, looks like he actually starts off with his Laugh Hound. Uh, I guess I will yeah, rush the other lane. Let's actually go with Magic Archer to be able to kill the minions over here. So, pretty aggressive on his part. Of course, also pretty aggressive on my part. Uh, we'll be able to take down the tower, of course. But I'm pretty sure we'll also end up losing our tower. So, looks like he goes with his um, baby dragon. I'll actually go with my Ewis like this. And then if he goes with a miner to the Ewis, I think I'll actually go with a fisherman. So, the fisherman should be able to pull away the uh, miner from the electro wizard. Allowing um, the electro wizard to stay alive for a little bit longer. Not sure if I should poison. I think honestly a zap is enough over here, especially because we already dealt quite a lot of damage to his king tower. I think a zap, um, yeah, will be fine. Like as I said, like we won't end up taking too much damage. Let's actually go with a better run right now to pressure. I think he does have tombstone or goblin cage. Looks like he actually goes with his electric or inferno dragon. Excuse me. Uh, Fisherman is actually able to lock onto the tower. We'll be able to get quite a lot of chip damage, and as you see, brings down the tower to seven, no, fifteen hundred, no, thirteen hundred. Uh, 97 HP, so definitely not bad at all, guys. Let's actually cycle Royal Ghost. Of course, Royal Ghost being invisible, don't have to worry about the Inferno Dragon over there. Um, let's actually go with e -Wiz. Looks like his minions were a little bit early, so actually one of the minions, um, yeah, won't go back for the Ghost. Ghost actually is able to get quite a lot of chip damage. He does have guards, so I can't really... Okay, looks like he actually goes with his Fisherman. So I guess we can bait out the cards over here with the Fisherman. Um, looks like it actually locks onto the tower and we'll be able to get... No, I was about to say we'll be able to get two hits onto the tower. We'll not be able to get two hits onto the tower, but we'll definitely be able to still... Um, yeah, get some chip damage. Let's actually go with Better M. I definitely want to keep out the pressure over here, especially because if not, he would just end up minoring um, my Magic Archer. So it looks like the... Ghost is able to splash the tower, and I think that is a good game, guys. Roy goes to splashing the tower, and we'll be able to get the three count. So let's give him a good game, let's give him a well played, and let's give him a thumbs up. So this deck is insanely strong, guys. Honestly, this matchup wasn't even that easy. Like, if you looked at his counters to my deck, he had Inferno Dragon, he had Guards. Um, oh, uh, looks like he also had Lightning. So actually, if he was able to build a big bush, he might have been able to Lightning my Electro with the Magic Arch. Of course, I was, uh, yeah, trying to spread them out. But maybe he, uh, yeah, was able to uh, catch me off guard, excuse me. But anyways, guys, let's, uh, yeah, hop into the next match. So, 10-2 in the Grand Challenge right now. And the next match, I will play with this, um, yeah, as I said, Fisherman Sparky Electro Wizard deck. So, I would say, let's just hop into the third match right now, guys. Hopefully, we'll be able to win this one. And then I can actually, uh, yeah, get another chance with the Graveyard deck. Graveyard deck is actually, uh, yeah, solid. But of course, the first matchup, since he cycled so quick, like he was able to outcycle us pretty easy. And honestly, um, his first push, like we just got a little bit unlucky, to be honest, because he started off with Ice Spirit Goblin Barrel. And unfortunately, we didn't have Logan cycle. Um, but anyways, let's yeah focus on the next match. Looks like we found a match, so let's give it a thumbs up and let's give him a good luck. So honestly, with this deck, I would never recommend starting off with Sparky. Of course, if you drop something like a Musketeer in the back, even Electro is in the back, like you should... Um, Definitely go with Sparky same lane because of course the Sparky is able to get some value and then afterwards we um, yeah are able to maybe get for example Goblin Giant in front of it or whatever. So I'll actually cycle Snowball over here. Looks like he doesn't drop anything. I'll actually cycle Fisherman. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of cycling uh, Fisherman in the back because sometimes people go crazy and put for example Pekka at the bridge. Um... Or sometimes put, I don't know, sometimes I even saw people like putting a golem at the bridge, like in this situation. Uh, of course, in the beginning of the game, it's not that good. But afterwards, it is like if, for example, my tower is in 1000 and he puts a golem at the bridge, we will end up losing the tower. So I'll actually go with Ewis over here, guys. Hopefully he doesn't. Okay, hopefully this still hits. 
Yeah, looks like it definitely still hits. So, let's actually go with Mega Mean over here for the Baby Dragon. Um, I'll actually Snowball over here, just making sure. Okay, definitely not bad. Fisherman on the left side actually is able to get some chit damage. Um, and I think I'll just relax to be honest over here. Might cycle another Fisherman. So, since he has another Lava Hound deck, so it looks like we're again facing a Lava Hound deck. Of course, Fisherman not being great against Lava Hound. But honestly, that's fine because um, these decks are still, yeah, good against air decks. So, I'll actually cycle another Sparky in the back, guys. Um, not sure if he has guards. I don't think he showed them yet, but he did, of course, show his Baby Dragon. Um, looks like there goes his guard. So, honestly, not the best guards. And I think we might actually be able to get good damage over here. Let's actually go with a Goblin Giant in front of the Sparky. Goblin Giant is actually, of course, super good against uh, Tombstone, against Bat, stuff like that. Looks like he actually goes with his um, Inferno Dragon. So, really good lightning over here. We'll be able to deal with and the Inferno Dragon and the Baby Dragon. Snowball just making sure that the Inferno Dragon will actually end up dying. Looks like he does go with a Sparky. Sparky will actually be able to still survive this. So, he, yeah, I was about to say he will definitely still need to respond to that with guards. Um, let's actually go with Mega Man to Cycle. Honestly, I would just pressure with Goblin Giant over here. Um, don't really want to use my Spark anymore. Let's see if he goes with something like a Poison. Looks like he goes with his Fireball. So let's actually go with Electro Waste. Of course, like knowing that he might go with his Inferno Dragon. He doesn't have Snowball Cycle, so the guards with 1 HP will still be able to get quite a lot of value. Let's actually go with a Snowball on offense over here. Snowball will allow the Spear Goblins uh, yet to get some chip damage. Looks like he's forced to go with a Snowball on defense. And right now, I think we just should uh, yeah, keep up the pressure. Let's actually go with guards. Uh, let's go with the Goblin Giant. He might try to ignore this, but yeah, I think this is a good game anyways. Let's see what he drops. Looks like he goes with his E-Dragon. Um, or Inferno Dragon, excuse me. Let's actually go with a Snowball over here. Even if the Goblin Giant isn't able to take down the tower, I think we should just be able to cycle um, yeah, back to Lightning. Looks like he goes for a Miner. Fisherman was almost able to look onto the tower, but anyways, I think this is a good game, guys. Uh, we just need to cycle, as I said. Let's go with Guards. Let's actually go with... Um, he was on defense, do want to watch out with the fireball. Let's actually go with the lightning. Unless he, uh, yeah, I was about to say, unless he lightning blocks with the guards, we should be able to take down the tower. It looks like we are able to take down the tower. So let's give it a good game. Let's give it a well played. And let's give it a thumbs up. So 11-2 in the grand challenge right now, guys. And, um... Yeah, as I said, I'll definitely try it again with this graveyard deck. So unfortunately, I said, first game was a loss with this deck. Second game was a win with the P.E.K.K.A. deck. Third game was a win with the Sparky deck. And right now we get to um, yeah, have another chance with this graveyard deck. So definitely a really good deck, guys. And hopefully, I'll be able to show you guys that now. Hopefully, we don't end up going 11-3 because of this graveyard deck. But anyways, um, yeah, looks like we found a match. So let's give it a thumbs up and let's give it a good luck. So we start off with Hunter. We have Lock, Dark Prince, Graveyard. So with this starting hand, honestly, I would just wait a little bit. Um... To see what he drops. If he, for example, cycles, I know, Spear Goblins, of course, I will end up logging. If he doesn't end up dropping anything, we can always cycle Lock. But next card is the Poison. So, it looks like he, um, yeah, was this, wow, wow. I think I already gave him thumbs up. Good luck, not sure. But it looks like we have Graveyard, uh, Hunter, Lock, Dark Prince. So, I guess I would just cycle Lock, especially if your opponent isn't dropping anything in the beginning. Most of the times, he doesn't have um, Lock Bait. Because, of course, Lock Bait, well, I guess you could wait for Double Elixir, but not the best play. So I guess I can cycle Dark Prince in the back. Looks like he goes with a Witch. So Witch is, um, yeah, interesting card. Let's actually go with a Poison over here. Dark Prince might, yeah, I was about to say, Dark Prince might actually end up splashing the, um, the Witch. Let's actually go with a Fisherman. Looks like he actually has a Clone deck. So we do need to watch out with the Clone, but I think, yeah, we should be fine over here. Let's actually go with a Lock. And the Lock should be able to get quite a lot of value. Yeah, so perfect Lock over there. We'll be able to deal with everything. He still needs to deal with the baby dragon. So honestly, I think we have a pretty good matchup over here. We just need to watch out with, um, not wasting, but just, yeah, watch out with the poison. Of course, like, we will never waste it. But, for example, right now, I won't uh, just poison, like, his witch. I prefer to keep it on defense just in case, uh, yeah, he overwhelms us with, um, yeah, clone kind of spam. So let's actually go with a dark prince in the back again. So I think he does have um, bet. So I don't really want to go with a graveyard jet. I think with this deck... It's definitely also important to be quite patient because as I said in the beginning uh, yeah, of this episode, this deck doesn't cycle as quick as uh, some other graveyard decks. So you definitely need to be patient. So Hunter in the back will be able to deal with uh, the Witch quite well. Let's actually go with a Poison over here. Looks like he goes with his Giant Skelly. So I think the Hunter with the Baby Dragon yeah, will be easily um, will easily take care of the Giant Skeleton. Unfortunately, the bomb actually does end up killing uh, everything, but that's fine. Knowing that he doesn't have giant... Okay, looks like he actually has a mirror. Let's actually go with um, Ice Column Graveyard over here. 
So it looks like he also has a fisherman. Really, really strange deck on his part, to be honest. Let's go with a poison. Fisherman will actually be able to kill uh, or to pull his giant skeleton. So I'll actually try to kill that as soon as possible. I'll actually go with um, a baby dragon on defense over here. I don't think he will end up cloning the giant skeleton. Looks like he actually goes with his giant uh, with his other giant skeleton right now at the bridge. Let's actually go with a fisherman to pull it in the other lane. Let's go with a graveyard and let's actually go with a poison over here. Um, yeah, looks like poison is able to get quite a lot of value. We'll be able to end deal with the fisherman and deal with the witch. Um, or else I will just, yeah, I think I just need to go with a look to be able to kill the witch. Let's actually go with a baby dragon over here. Do need to watch out, of course, with the clone, but the lock should be able to get quite a lot of value. Let's go with a lock right now. Uh, let's go with a fisherman again. So all the time trying to pull the giant skeleton to the right side of the uh, of the lane, of course. Yeah, not trying to let the giant skeleton get a lot of value. Looks like he goes with a fisherman. Let's actually have the poison ready. Looks like he goes with a baby dragon. So I, I rather keep my poison knowing that he has a clone deck. Looks like he went with a tornado on defense. So we are able to get quite a lot of damage over there. We'll be able to bring down the tower to 998 HP. Let's actually go with an ice column over here. Let's actually go with a poison. Uh, I assume that he will go with a clone over here. Looks like he doesn't... Um, but still definitely really good poison. Looks like I think we can actually go in for another graveyard. Let's actually go with Dark Prince. Let's actually go with a graveyard. He does go with the witch, but um yeah, he still needs to stop and the graveyard. And of course the Dark Prince. Dark Prince is able to lock onto the witch, so that's good. We'll be able to get quite a lot of uh, damage, but we do need to watch out with the counter push right now, guys. Uh let's actually go with a lock over here. Let's actually go with an ice column. Fisherman to pull again the giant skeleton to the other lane. And honestly, looking pretty good so far. Um, I think I'll just go for a graveyard right now. Poison the witch. Okay, we definitely need to watch out right now. But um, yeah, getting some good chip damage. And eventually, I think we should be able to just get him uh, down with spell. So let's actually go with a hunter over here. We do need to watch out with a fisherman. Like pulling the hunter. Let's actually go with a fisherman of our own on defense. Let's actually go with a poison. Um, predicting him to clone. Looks like he doesn't clone. But still good poison. We'll be able to completely counter the, um, the skelly barrel. So thanks to his fisherman. The fisherman of uh, yeah, us was actually able to get out of the uh, giant skeleton bomb. Let's actually cycle a baby dragon over here guys. And I think... Okay let's actually go with a hunter. Let's go with an ice column. I will try to pull the... Um, Witch towards us. I think it actually locked onto the witch. No, it looks like it didn't. Now it will definitely lock onto the witch. So let's actually go with a lock on defense. Uh, looks like his fisherman actually pulled our fisherman. Not sure what's going on right now, but I think we should be able to win this with a graveyard right now. 262 uh, yeah, HP remaining on Star and as you see, one of the skeletons is able to lock onto the tower. Poison will be able to finish it off. So let's give him a good game. Let's give him a wall plate and let's give him a thumbs up. So as you see, we'll be able to complete the grand challenge here. Um, yeah, unfortunately, we did start off the uh, episode with a loss, but we're still able to. Um, yeah, complete the grand challenge going from 9 to, to 12 to with these three decks. So as I said, these are the top three fisherman decks. Uh, not necessarily in order, but these are definitely really solid deck guys. So as I said, the graveyard kind of like a splasher deck with the baby dragon um, dark prince. Of course, the P.E.K.K.A. bridge spam deck. P.E.K.K.A. in my opinion is definitely still good, even though um, yeah, the range of course went from medium to or from long to medium. Um, and then of course, as I said, this, yeah, Goblin Giant Sparky Lightning deck. So definitely really solid deck, guys. I would say let's open to the chest opening. So it looks like we start off uh, with 22k gold, which is always nice. We get some E-Barbs, we get some Doomstones, Goblin Hut, 149 minions, Barbarian Hut. Looks like we get some Archers, Flying Machine, Musketeer, um, Rascals. A lot of comments so far, so I think we might actually be able to get Legendary, guys. Five Epics. Uh, looks like six epics, so we get some tornadoes, balloons, and as you see, next card will be a legendary, so that's awesome. I would say let's just see what kind of legendary we get, guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, and it will be a look. So awesome episode over here, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys um, yeah learned something from this episode. Also, let me know if you guys would like to see a video on the legendary party um, like challenge. I will definitely try to do one on the minor draft challenge because as you see, at 15 wins, we actually get a really nice emote. Also, guys, I quickly want to ask you something. Um, First of all, thank you for watching all the way until the end. Also, we're about to hit 800k subscribers. So let me know if you guys have any suggestions for 800k uh, yes, subscriber special video. Let me know what you guys uh, yeah, would like to see for that. I definitely want to um, yeah, hear some cool ideas from you. But anyways, this will do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smack the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next videos. Bye, guys.